Hi, this is Russ from the Air Users blog, and I'm giving you a first overview of Pro Tools 9. And there we go. That's what we've been waiting to see, the Pro Tools 9 splash screen. And I'm going to show you some of the key features which make this a real change in the landscape for everybody using Pro Tools and for Avid themselves. They made the announcement last night, and I'm going to show you the key things that are exciting for us that use Pro Tools the first thing to notice is I'm just going to play you this track. Now, the thing to know is that is now running on a Mac without any hardware and a PC of course as well so the first good news is that now Avid have made the landmark decision for Avid to decouple the hardware from the software so now you can run it on a laptop you can run it on anything and you don't need any additional hardware now the good news for Avid is last night one of the votes we had in our live debate during the whole presentation was would you continue to buy Avid hardware 75% said yes so one of the worries of Avid of course is the minute you decouple the software from the hardware then people will stop buying your hardware well the good news Avid is they're not going to stop buying it according to our poll last night so there we go and so what you have now when you go into the playback engine at the moment I'm on a Mac so it's saying what I want to use I'm saying built-in line output I could choose to use my uh, M audio fast track ultra in fact I could use anything I could use a line 6 device or I could use uh, an Apogee device it's completely decoupled now you make the choice the second second thing to notice by looking at the playback engine page is this we now have ADC, Delay Compensation Engine, both in short and long form. What does that mean? Well, it means this. In the past, if you were using anything but HD, if you inserted plugins, uh, depending on the plugins that you used, sometimes they would introduce delays, sample delays, into the signal chain. Now, you'd then have to go through and you'd have to, auto, you'd have to manually correct that, either by sliding the audio on the timeline or by using devices such as the Mellow Muse ATA. Now that is gone. Just like in HD in the past, we now have ADC in Pro Tools. And of course, it's already been in all the other eight major DAWs on the market. So this is a catch up really for Avid, but great news that Avid have included it. We've been asking for it. It was top of the list and Avid have delivered. Uh, the third thing to know is the track count is way up without buying any additional kits. 96 tracks out the box. That's brilliant news. The next thing, we now have MP3 export as standard. There's no need to buy it anymore. So when you bounce to disk, MP3 is here and it won't say that you need to buy it, which is really, really, really cool. The next thing is OMF import and export, and that's very helpful uh, for those of us working in the video world. So we now have the OMF export option. Very helpful indeed. Here's the big news, though. The price for those upgrading who already have Pro Tools 8 is very competitive. And even those who want to buy Pro Tools for the first time without any additional hardware, about $600, six to $700, you can buy Pro Tools without any hardware and you can get into uh, the Pro Tools world. So the things we've been asking for have been delivered on the whole. So I think Avid have done a fantastic job. If you're already a Pro Tools owner, then I suggest you take a look at this. So in conclusion, my video review says this, well done Avid, this is a great upgrade, this is a landmark upgrade, and it puts you back out in the lead. Thanks for listening.